Hi there, this is Firefighter Tafarata and thanks for joining me today for Firefighter Safety Tips. We're going to be talking about how to shut off electricity within a house. Now every house has panels and sub-panels. Now uh, usually within the house there will be sub-panels. If you can't find them within the house or apartment, you can find them outside on the exterior. Now we did cover in the past, we talked about uh, gas and water and how to shut that off. Now electricity is a little different, okay? So electricity, uh, it's its not, there's not valves that go up and down uh, that are parallel. It's a little its a little different, but the thing is, don't be afraid of it. Uh, if, if it's not working or if there's, if there's some type of problem with an outlet that something is uh, shorting, you, you, you can easily figure this out, okay? So you come to your panel and your panel, we're actually on the side of my house right now. As you can see, there's a panel right here. It's a meter, electrical meter. You want to open this guy up. Boom. So I just opened that guy up right there, right? So it tells you everything from uh, oven hood, kitchen, microwave, disposal, refrigerator, dishwasher, and then there's also outlets, right? Laundry room, washing machine, uh, landscaping, you know, everything, correct? Now, it's important when you have, these are called breakers, when you have these breakers, you want to label them. So you want to label them and you want to basically show what they're used for. So you want to know what every single breaker is used for so you can easily identify and turn off what might not be working, right? So over here, if there's an issue in your kitchen, you could shut off any one of these in your kitchen and the breaker will be off until you turn it back on. Uh, that'll help prevent a further uh, problem with electrical. It could help prevent a fire and it could help uh, the fire department come out or help them uh, to identify where a location might be when something wrong is going on. So you come to your breakers and it'll tell you on it. If you look really closely, it'll say off and on, right? It'll say off and on. So let's go down further where it's a little darker maybe, and it says off and on. So, so to know that, it goes left to right. Now, if a breaker trips, it'll, it'll be in the middle, and it pops, and it goes to the middle. Sometimes it goes all the way off, right? And you figure there might be a short. Something might have triggered uh, the electrical to, to, like, uh, to stop working. Sometimes it's a, a blow dryer. Sometimes it's a toaster. Now it's basically because there's too much energy going to or being utilized at that one location. So you could come out to your breaker and figure it out. Okay. Now ultimately calling an electrician would be the smartest thing to do. Let's say if there is a problem with your electrical, don't just try to, it's good to problem solve, but if there is a problem, call an electrician, call the fire department and say, hey look, I saw some sparks, something happened, but for your electrical panel, this is where it's located. It's on the side of your house. This is how you could shut off your, your electricity. It's left to right. It'll tell you basically on and off. And it's also inside your house. So I'm going to continue and show you inside the house where GFIs are located. Now those are for usually kitchens and bathrooms. And those are very important also because those trip all the time. And people think they have an electrical problem. But really what it is, is it was overloaded. So let's go do that. And uh, yeah, let's continue. Okay, welcome back in my house. We're going to go right to my kitchen. I'm going to show you what basically GFIs are. Okay, so GFIs, if I could just get this over here, are pretty much right here. Now, it says reset or test. Now, what it does is it trips. You can reset it, and it'll work when you, when you have it pop. So... There you go. So it's reset. Now, a lot of times you'll have something plugged in like a toaster, um, you know, portable little oven, and it'll actually go off and it'll pop. That means it's too much, too much is being utilized in that area. It's too much electricity. Now in bathrooms and other places now too, they're starting to have these, the, the AFC, AFC I believe, and the GFIs. They're arc protectors. The arc protectors are also very important because uh, if you have a hair dryer or if you have something that could uh, that could spark or cause an arc, it'll actually help prevent it. So they're basically modified and updated GFIs, and they're used in bathrooms. And nowadays, they can be used all throughout the house. Okay, so 
Uh, that's the fire safety tip I wanted to give you guys is how to shut off the electricity, how to identify if there's a problem with a GFI. Sometimes in the kitchen and also in the bathroom, I mean, there should always be GFIs in the bathroom, but in the kitchen, you know, there might be um, many different outlets. And, you know, if one outlet's not working, it could be because it's connected to a GFI and you have to go in your kitchen to see what GFI pops because it might be on the same electrical, you know, uh, uh, breaker. So it could be on the same one. So you could also look and test that out too. So for this little fire video, we went over the electrical panel, where to go outside your house. There could be a, a it's basically, it's called a smaller panel. It's called a sub panel. Sometimes they're in the house. My house, actually, we don't have one, but we have them outside. So thanks for joining us. This is Firefighter Safety Tips with Firefighter Cafferata. Join me next time, and uh, thanks again. Take care.